Welcome back to the island update. In this episode, we are going to be working on this Archelon uh, tournament. Um, I already have this creature unlocked, but I still wanted to uh, participate in this one because uh, firstly, the rewards are pretty good. And uh, secondly, I want to try out some different tactics here. Um, mainly what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to get myself into uh, Predator League. That is the uh, league before uh, Dominator. And I'm just kind of going to coast there uh, for most of the time. I might dip into... Um, I might dip into Dominator uh, just a bit, a couple times during the tournament, but I'm not going to drive myself really deep into Dominator. And uh, for the first couple battles here, uh, I'm going to use some pretty standard creatures uh, just just to get myself up into Predator. Uh, so the the commons, the rares, the super rares. I might just skip over the uh, the legendaries, and then once I'm in Predator, like I am here. Uh, I think I'm gonna start switching over to the level 20 VIPs. Um, yeah, the the reason that I'm doing this is because in the uh, the the prior weeks, I'm not sure if something changed, but uh, I've been really getting slapped on on these tournaments. Um, and yeah, it's just it hasn't been a fun playing experience. So I think my thinking is that uh, what I'm gonna do is stay into Predator, keep it a bit more easy where the lineup, the, the matchups are more manageable, I guess, and uh, go in with some I, I would say overpowered for Predator leagues, which is the the level 20 VIPs. These guys right here. Um, and it should be more manageable. I'll have to play, uh, check check back a bit more often, but uh, that's okay. I don't mind banging out a few matches and then um, and then coming back to it once these creatures cool down. And they cool down quite quickly. That's that's why I think this this strategy might be okay for me, and it might actually be fun. Because uh, you want to play the game and still have fun, you know. Uh, so yeah, so second position in in uh, Predator. And um, yeah, I'm still using these level 20 VIPs. So I'm going in with Morphodon, Elabia, and uh, Baryonyx. Um, I like going in with either two balanced creatures like uh, Baryonyx or Morphodon or Mastodonosaurus. Uh, one of those guys at level 20. Um, and one glass cannon creature, which would have been uh, Elambia on on this uh, on that battle. So I'm in the first position in Predator, um, and I just let myself fall back into 12th position. So I put the game away, let things cool down, and then come back to it. Uh, this way, this way, I'm not really wasting my time losing battles. I think in this whole tournament, I lost uh, two battles, and I'm okay with that because it's it's mostly the time thing that I'm um, I'm worried about. Because when you're you're losing a battle right at the end on your last move, then yeah, it kind of kind of gets to you, and it's not really a fun uh, playing experience. So this this uh, seems to be working. We'll see how we we finish up here. Uh, so. You can see I'm just coasting. I'm just coasting in Predator, uh, hanging out somewhere near the top. Every time I drop down after a few hours, uh, so I'll play maybe twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening, bang through a couple, and then uh, leave it and let them cool down and stuff. So uh, it works. Pyrosaurus coming in for the win here. Sweet. So where are we at right now? We at uh, close to 800 trophies and eighth position in uh, in Predator. And you know, I there is a lot more to my lineup. I could drive deeper into Dominator, but uh, I don't want to do that. You know. So these um, these level 20 VIPs are, are definitely they're game changers. You gotta stack up an army of them, and uh, it'll it'll help you um, it'll help you progress through the game. Uh, so first position in Predator, and uh, I don't really uh, push through um, to Dominator like really drive myself in there um, uh, until until the end. 
and uh, even then I'm, I'm pretty much just sticking sticking to uh, level 20 uh, VIPs and uh, I'll wake up on the morning of the tournament uh, when it's gonna wrap up and just make sure everything is cool and I can get the unlock. I really learned from uh, Ornithokyrus that tournament was really uh, disappointing because I, I recorded that one too and I, I didn't get the unlock which was uh, that was crazy to me so uh, yeah lesson learned. So still going in with these uh, these uh, matchups, these uh, Apatosaurus, uh, Baryonyx, and Presso Suches. And it's working well so far. There's so I'm not saying this is like a, a best strategy. Um, I play this game in a really lazy way. Uh, I don't like investing too much time into playing and uh don't like to get like too too invested in it because uh you know real life keeps moving on uh so i try to put in minimal effort to uh move myself forward and uh this uh this seems to be working so i'm gonna try this out on uh on next week's tournament whatever that may be But yeah, I'm, I'm liking I'm liking the the way this uh, this pans out. And here I'm moving a bit further into uh, into Dominator because the uh, tournament's gonna wrap up soon. So and uh, we got 56 seconds left on in the tournament. Uh, I am in uh, 2000. What am I? 2008. And uh, sorry, 1,283 uh, trophies. The bottom of this is uh, around 2,000, 1,230 something. And the top, um, not uh, not too sure there. Let's see. The top was uh, 2,800. And uh, just to be sure, yeah, 1,245. And these are the cards that we're going for. And this thing's about to wrap up in seven seconds. So this is another one. I, I really like this creature. Um, it's kind of got special, special value to me. Um, and I'll tell you about that in a bit. Here is the card pack. We got 500 Dino Bucks. 2,500 DNA, which is pretty sweet. Another 500 Dino Bucks and Archelon. Sweet. And we got the, uh, we got some loyalty points up in here. And then the Archelon update, uh, I mean, unlock animation, which is, uh, which is pretty sweet. Um, yeah, the first time I unlocked this creature, um, actually the first time it hatched, it hatched on the day that my grandmother uh, passed away. So it's got a special meaning to me. Um, and here it is. Just let you guys enjoy this. Thanks for watching.